<laughs> um, <laughs> oh, it's just good, doesn't it? Fuck you, is. No, um, yeah, no, we had a good battle in the last two, and yeah, it just feels awesome to <laughs> get back on top. The Australian Pro Championship, it's got a pretty good sound to it, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, um, I don't think we've had it. Australian Championships before for 70.3 so um, you know I've just finished my US season I was all ready to go home but then when I heard about this race I thought I've got to come over and do that. <laughs> and obviously today you fell behind out of the water but that second lap on the bike talk to us about that move you made on the second lap of the bike to get closer to these girls out in front. Uh, the bike course was good that it was just a lot of out and back so I could always see where I was so the aim was always to try and get off the bike as close to the leaders as possible and I think I was about 30 seconds behind when we went on to the run um, so yeah and then it just turned into a running race. <laughs> when you're out on the run out at, at that northern turnaround were you confident that you could hold off Liz because you only had about 15-20 seconds at that stage? Yeah a difficult one. I didn't know whether to slow down a bit and, and run with Liz then or keep trying to push it so I just kept looking at my lap times, just kept it steady and then Liz pulled back on me so then I just yeah, sat in for a little bit. We, we ran together for about 6k neck and neck so it was tough. How did you find the swim? I mean obviously current affected. That must have played into your favour surely. Yeah, definitely. When they said that, I was like, good, the, the shorter the time I'm in the water, the better. Um, but yeah, I had no idea where I was going. I was just following the girls in front of me. Um, there wasn't many boys out there, but I guess you couldn't really go too far wrong. Um, <laughs> we did. <laughs> did you? Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, 